Well, hello and welcome back to another Minecraft video on the Adults Craft server. As you can see, I've been doing a bit chopping, doing a bit more grinding down here at the Copper Farm just to keep it going. It's still going really strong. So, I haven't even had a wee look in here for a while. Ooh! So, Getting close to getting the two stacks of these blocks it is it's, it's a slow grind. I think long term I am going to add another one of these chambers and feed the ones from that side up and over and down into a second chamber. I think that will make the most sense and it will give me, a, a, it should double the rates I think. I haven't tried it in creative, so I'm not sure, but yeah. Boop. Rates aren't huge, but hey, it's free copper, so I can't complain. But we're going to get out of this hole, I think. First thing I want to do, though, is go and grab... If I can get up there. I'm going to grab my beacon and move it over with me. So I'll get this done and we'll see you over can you see me? See you over where we are going to start building next. So I'm just over the storage room just now and as you can see our copper has started to age very nicely but I'm starting to run low on the honeycomb that I'd had. I think I'll just do that. There we go. So I've been out and I've collected up these and I think all of them apart from that one these have all got three bees in them I do need to probably fill that up with some more when I breed them but yeah we need more honeycomb because obviously we've got a copper farm we're going to be using a lot of copper once we start decorating so I think it's time for a little bee farm see I've been also doing some more building we'll come back to that later on but you'll see we've got another beacon beam over here now and I've started clearing out a space I think I'll plop that there just now so what I'm trying to decide is where I want the bee farm to go now I've cleared this mountain down or mountain, it was a sort of hill, it was up here somewhere I've cleared the grass over it just now I do kind of want to flatten that area out make that hill will run a bit smoother around and have maybe the lake a wee bit bigger or some kind of river running through here. I haven't quite decided but I think there's water through there so I might try and make it a lake that sort of runs down the hill into, a into the river. So I'm thinking here, depending on what's there, in this sort of bit here, dig it in a bit and have a kind of greenhouse poking out towards the water. I think that might look really good. So I'm going to just start doing some diggy diggy into the mountain and we'll see, see how it goes. Oh, you might also see I have my cape. So, yep, finally got the migration email through and got my account migrated to my Microsoft account. So now the two are the same and we have this lovely looking cape. Which is very nice. But anyway, I'm going to get digging and um, we'll see you in a minute. Well, we are back. I got a bit carried away. As you can see, I have stuck in all the redstone for the system. So there's not a lot to it. The beehives are going to go in this slot here. Then we've got the dispensers above that are going to have... I'm going to put in shears in them. You could put honey um, honey balls. You could put glass balls in and get honey balls out. You'll see I've got a hopper line under here which is full of stuff. Um, I've got the hopper mine carts in there. Just sometimes when these harvest they spray a bit. So the hopper mine cart will grab it and put it into the hoppers for me. And in the back, all I'm doing is I'm reading, obviously, the house is going to be there. So I'm reading that through the block. And then we've got one, two, 
no, three, four, five. And then when it gets to the fifth level in the beehive, lights this up, triggers that, shears it, and we just start the whole system again. Up here, I've just got the loading for the shears and the glass bottles, so I don't know what I'll do. I might end up having just a chest there on top that feeds down into it. Doesn't need to be anything fancy, really. Same with the output, I'll probably just shoot it off into a wee storage room. I might even shoot it off into a storage room here and decorate it out a wee bit more. But that's the basics of the system. So what I'm going to do now is do a bit of decorating. See how if I can make this look half decent. Because it's just a big empty room with a grass floor. So we'll go and make a start on that and try and get it at least secured in so I can get the bees in and then we will I'll see how much I can get done out here. So I'll see you in a little minute. Oh I've done a bit of decorating. It's not great, I'll be honest, but it does the job and it secures it in, so now it's time to plonk my bee nest down and see if they actually come out. There we go. Yay! So I can take this up. So if I quickly jump it out. Yep. It is literally just a hole in the side of the mountain. I haven't done any real decorating work to it. I'll, I'm not sure how I want to decorate it, whether I want to go further up and round with something else or have some... Yeah, I don't know. It's up there. It's a chicken. But... One thing I just realised I haven't done is I haven't given myself a way in. So right, that'll do for now. Light that up so that we don't get any stupid things going on. I'll need to put a door or something on that, stop people wandering in and out. And by people I mean mobs. Keep my torches. But we'll leave it alone, we'll let it run. It should be easily within loading distance of me when I'm up in the the base up there. So we'll let it run and we'll see what happens. I'm looking for Yeah, that'll do it. I just want a door just to stop mobs wandering in and out. Like I say, this is going to need a lot more decoration to make it look right on the outside. We had anything yet? No. But as you can see, we've got a chest of shears. I just put a random door up there. These are all filled up. I think we're starting to get the looks of the particles. We're up to here already on some of the nests, so we should see honeycomb coming out of it any minute. So, yeah, need to get some more flowers, breed up some more breeze, because I'm pretty sure these are not full by any means. But it's a good start. I'll maybe do some more decorating off camera. And we'll come back to it, because I want to now... I've started working on this area here leading up to the ice farm. As you can see, I'm trying to work out... Some kind of... Though, I will need to deal with the snow somehow. That's going to be annoying. That's going to be hard to deal with. But, I've got the wall in. I've, so I've staggered up because it's obviously a lot higher than that one. And I've got a wee stairway up here. Started building a platform out for the ice farm here. I love the way the ice looks with these shaders on. 
and we'll see how we get on from there. I'm not sure about the building for this yet. I've tried many different designs and creative and I'm not sure which one I like. So I'll keep cracking at it and you might get a time lapse of me building an actual building around this if I figure something out before I need to do more recording. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go AFK for a wee bit and let that bod boy down there run for a bit and maybe tidy up this as well while I'm at it. fly around it in free cam mode and you can see that uh, I'm very happy with this. We have a wee fly about. Go out over here and turn back around. Um, I'm very happy. It's turned out really nice. There's a few bits and pieces still need tweaked. We have mashed up the design in a wee bit. Um, I will put links down below. This is part of it's basically a mashup of some buildings that I found on I think it was one of the Minecraft map maker websites. Like I say, I'll try and find it, put the link down below. It's basically one wall of a building that I found that I've just cut up and wrapped around the whole thing but it's looking fancy it looks like there might be oh wrong button yeah there's a few bits needing filled in still but I'm loving the way it looks we've added a doorway around here 
this is nearly filled up again. Obviously we need the hole in the roof just so that this machine works. And I've started to do some decorations on the inside but as you can see there's still a lot of work to be done purely because I've mashed up, you know, one piece of a build into a full build rather than doing it from scratch. But hey, we can fix that and we've ended up with a very cool looking build up here that just it sets the scene for everything that's going on right the way around um done a wee bit i've started trying to work out where i want to go with the wall and as you can see i've started pulling it around the corner i've also changed the design here so i'm going to have some kind of goods elevator up and down here Obviously this is meant to be a factory, so we'll have some carts and stuff loading the ice onto, onto the elevator and down so it can go, go out into the airship dock and get sent away out into the lands to be sold on for other goods and stuff like that. There's a few bits in the wall that I'm still working on, as you can see. There's a big funny gap because it's slabs I was using. Um, but yeah, that's good looking good. If we jump down and run across the landing pad, you see I've done a wee bit. Ow. I've done a wee bit more work down here, trying to blend it in, decorate it out. It's looking better. It needs more. That's going to end up being something else. I just filled it in with the honeycomb blocks just to give it a bit of colour just now. But I'm liking these kind of things. I think I can then tie it in with like gears and cogs and machinery around about it a bit better. And inside we've got it looking much better. We've got some more plants and foliage. We've got a wee bit of water and stuff. You can see the bees are happily working away. If we go around here. Shut that so nothing sneaks up on me. Um, yeah, I had to add in a secondary system that you can see is collecting way more than in there. Yeah, um, farms on Java are different to Bedrock. This bit wasn't enough to catch it, it was throwing it all out the front. So a nice wee... Yeah, the simple minecart going around was plenty just to catch everything that was falling on the grass basically. So. You'll also notice I started putting uh, glass bottles in to get the honey because we got tons of honeycomb coming out of this. So there was. If I let me click on it. No. No. I'm guessing I'm about to get kicked off the server again. Thanks to my lovely internet. Yeah. So, we'll see if it'll let me eat. No. Well. I'll be back in a wee minute once I log out and log back in again. So, right, re-log, re there we go. So yeah, I've just filled in sort of half the spaces with the glass bottles. Um, it'll get refilled with shears as it goes, which is fine by me. I can do that all manually because it's, like I said, it's not needing to be overproduction, don't need a lot of it, it's just some nice wee bits and the honey blocks are handy if I need them for machinery because I don't have slime quite yet. But I think we've done a lot in this episode, I've done a lot of building, this has taken most of that. This has taken most, most of the two weeks between my episodes to be honest. I'm kind of rushing to get this edited so I can get it back out for you on Friday. Um, I think next time I think we need to start working on our commerce park so I think it'll be over to the shopping district and we will get our shop started out and hopefully get it opened as well but as always if you're enjoying the videos do hit that thumbs up button um, if you haven't already please consider subscribing there's lots more content coming and um, I have big plans for this area as you can see by the size of it all and yeah we will see you next time so for now that is goodbye